up everybody this is Eric Reed Harry and today I'm doing an experiment where I'm showing the insulative properties of aircrete so on the stove here I have two samples one is a, a hundred gallon mix and the other is a 30 gallon mix so what I'm going to do is turn on the flames and I'm going to Set them to six on here. Okay, so we see the flames are on. And next, I have the thermal imaging camera. So right now, the camera shows the samples are at 73 degrees. That's the 30 gallon mix and 67 degrees on the, no, this is the 30 gallon mix and this is the 100 gallon mix. So, <clears throat> and they're both a little moist. They, they were uh, outside and the bottoms here wet, okay. Oh, let's show the heat. So I'm getting a temperature reading right now of 356 degrees. And the time is 844. So I'm going to leave this on and I'll come back in about 10 minutes to see how much the uh, samples have gone up in temperature on the top part. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes now, and my two samples are still on the stove heating up. This is the 100 gallon mix, okay? And this is the 30 gallon mix. Now, of course, there's heat coming off the sides that's rising up the sides of these pieces, but the tops are cold, and I'll show you now with the thermal imaging camera. The top of the 100 gallon mix shows 87 degrees at the very top. And if we go down the side here, it shows on this edge right here, 157. And then if I just go down to here, it shows 344 degrees. So that's the 100 gallon mix sample. So this has been surprising to me that the 30 gallon sample seems uh, to be more insulative. I guess maybe there being more air pockets, I mean it doesn't make sense, but this one must have more air pockets that's allowing the gases of the heat to travel through it. Or maybe that the pockets are too big <clears throat> on this one compared to the pockets here, the air bubbles, uh, the air voids in the sample. So I don't know, but right now the 30 gallon mix, I didn't have on hand the 50 gallon, or uh, well, I didn't make a 60 gallon, but based on what I'm seeing here, um, I don't think I would use a 100 gallon mix. I, mean, I might have to do this experiment one more time by making a new batch of aircrete, but uh, based on this, I think probably like a 50 or 60 gallon mix would be enough. <clears throat> I don't think a 100 gallon is necessary. I would do, I would go for like a 50 or 60 gallon mix. Now when I say that, I mean one 94 pound bag of cement, 6 gallons of water, and a 60 gallon container. So that's about seven gallons of cement slurry. And you would fill that 60 gallon container to the top with foam. And, um, and then, uh, of course, when I say 30 gallon, I made this sample in a 30 gallon garbage uh, container. Uh, again, seven gallon cement slurry. And then I filled the top of that 30-gallon 
container would foam as I mixed it. So, and this was done with 100 gallons. So again, here, here's the thermal imaging. This is the very top center of this piece. It's reading 82 degrees. And you can see from the side view, the heat coming off the sides of the uh, the bricks. Yeah, 348 degrees, 350 degrees on the side of the brick. And then if we move up a little, it shows 136 degrees. But again, this is because the heat is coming up over the sides all the way around. In fact, I have these pieces moved a little forward because I didn't I wanted a place to put my hand otherwise the heat would come up and I I get burned just from the heat coming up the sides. But um you see they're both on. And um it's well insulated. So I'm gonna give it another ten minutes. Um from uh I guess from this point here and uh We'll take another temperature reading. Yeah, it's the 100 gallon mix. It's reading 94 degrees. Let me get to the sensor. 90, 90 degrees, 100 gallon mix. Eighty degrees on the 30 gallon mix. Okay, another 10 minutes has gone by. So it's been about 25 minutes that these air creep block samples have been on the stove. Again, this is the 100 gallon mix and this is a 30 gallon mix. And uh, a minute ago, I just explained how <clears throat> I think a 30, 50, or even a 60 gallon mix is better than a hundred gallon mix. Another reason is because the hundred gallon mix is more brittle than the 30 or even the 50 gallon mix. So let's put it on the, the thermal imaging camera again. So the top of this hundred gallon mix sample is reading 116 at the center. Now again, both of these blocks were a little wet, so I'm sure that moisture is affecting the heat. I don't think there would be as much heat coming, showing in the center here if these blocks were completely dry, but the tops of them are, dry, are still wet. You can see here the, the wet line, and also we have the heat coming off the sides, coming up and heating it. It's not like uh, the heat was just dead center and not coming up the sides here. So anyway, this one, we're showing 114 degrees at the center. Now if I bring it to the edge here, it's 146. And again, it's the heat coming up the sides. You can see from the image, like right here, it's showing 345 and then right above it, is showing 220, 222. If I move it over a little, 194. If I go to the top, it's reading 111. That's the 100 gallon, and I'll move over. This is the 30 gallon mix, reading 87 degrees at the center. And here again, you can see the image from the side. I got 120 degrees at the top edge. And as I move down towards the hot spot, it's showing 345. Okay, so I'm going to flip these samples up. I'm going to uh, flip it up and move it over. Or I'll just flip it up. Okay, so that, the 100 gallon mix sample. And so from the bottom, it's reading 344 degrees, which I think is the max that this flare 
demo imaging can read. Yeah, that seems to be max. Oh, 356. Let's see. Okay, well, anyway. I mean, that's hot enough. <laughs> Let's look at it from the side. So it's reading 345 degrees. I mean, that's crazy hot. So I'm going to put this back down. And obviously, I'm touching it. You know, I wouldn't touch the bottom part, but <laughs> the top part you can touch. It's only 113 degrees there in the center. See? No problem. It doesn't, it barely even feels warm. I feel more the heat coming off the sides than I do any heat in the center here. And of course, this one's like cold. A lot of heat coming up the sides. Let's look at that. There. 85 degrees. And if I move over a little, bam, 356. We saw it for a second, 351. I mean, that's really good. And this is about four inches thick. Um, about. And the plan that I have for my dome I want to build is to have about nine inches of insulation. So you can imagine, like, it's it would be a great structure to have um, where there's fires or potential fires. Because I think you could feel quite safe in a dome structure with about nine inches of aircrete insulation. And, of course, the finish would be like a stucco-type finish to seal it and waterproof it. Uh, thinking like a magnesium base cement or even like a rapid base rapid set cement uh, a thin coating to seal all the holes up here and to make a waterproof coating and then if I need it even on top of that I could do a latex base cement to um, make it even more waterproof so I don't know that'll I'll figure that out later exactly which method I choose because I'm planning to build a few domes and um, so anyway, you can imagine nine inches of this insulation. That would be amazing. I mean, even four inches. Look, I mean, just those four inches alone are insulating it. And I believe that's how they test insulation is with the heat. I don't ever see tests done using the cold. Like they don't make a room and put in a giant freezer box to see how it, how it works they always use a, a heat as the test <clears throat> from what i know if i'm wrong you could just write that in the comments but i'm gonna stop this test now i started it it was 8 44 p.m is now 9 14 um i don't think uh it's really gonna get much hotter i mean that's Come on, that's, that's, what is it? 347 degrees. And so that's almost 30 minutes now. And here's the top one more time. Oh, let me flip this one over too for you. So this one again is reading 96 degrees now. And again, one more time, I don't believe this would have even increased that much if the sample were completely dry. The heat coming up the sides are heating up the water that was um, still on here from it being outside. So, you can see these are the samples that I made and did my other test with. Yeah, so he's reading 300 and 44 degrees I think that's close to the max 350 yeah and again I wouldn't touch that side but up here no problem no problem all right everyone that's it for now this is Eric Cree Harry this is my Thermal test of the aircrete blocks at about four inches thick. 
Peace out, and I'll catch you later.